Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Age of Darkness Final Stand. A few days ago, I released a video to mark the release of the campaign, or at least the first two acts of the campaign, into the game. And I was surprised to see quite a few comments of people saying that they would love to see more. So you know what? Okay, I'm game. I was also very intrigued by the story offered in the prologue. So let's go ahead and make this an official campaign run. Now that said, I'm expecting this to be a shorter series for now, because my understanding is there's only seven to eight missions that were added into the game, including the prologue, uh, for the first two acts. So until they release more content, there's only so much we can do. But you know what, that works out just fine, because I'm expecting a baby to arrive literally any day now at this point, so short commitments are great. Now, in the last video, we did already cover the prologue, and we did cover part of mission one. I'm not going to do the prologue again, the question is if I should do mission one again, because I didn't show off all the dialogue, I showed off enough to kind of give you a gist, but I wasn't really expecting to come back and do this, so I wasn't too worried about continuity, now I am. I think for the sake of it, we're going to go ahead and do mission one again, and I'll show you everything this time, everything that's relevant anyway, and we'll also capture mission two in this video. From there, we'll go ahead and have nothing but fresh content. So. Let's consider this a fresh campaign. If you didn't see the prologue, watch the last video, and when you get to mission one, just like, I don't know, stop, and then start this video. Yeah, that works. All right, here we go. Hector thinks you need more experience in the field, and I agree. Follow my orders, and we'll get through this alive. Oh, this is exciting, Edwin. I've never been this far north before. I hope we see nightmares. This is a security job, Aurelia. We're on the lookout for criminals wearing the Iron Talon insignia. Oh. You mean like them? Leave us alone! We've nothing left to give you! Yeah? But I bet you've got plenty for us to take. Stop! By the authority of the Order, you must face justice. Aurelia, wait! Blasted girl's gonna get herself killed. And this is where we last left things off. Okay, so we have to deal with some banditos with the Iron Talon Insignia. Now, I have played through this mission, obviously. You already saw that. I've also played through the next couple of missions in my own time, and now I'm going to kind of backtrack. So I don't know where all the story is going to go. Uh, I won't give you any spoilers as far as the first couple of episodes, but I will say that the pacing of this and the next video are going to be a little on the slower side, and uh, hopefully that ends up being okay for you guys. Um, basically what's ended up happening, I think, is the pacing of this game is really dictated by the survival mode. That's what kind of made this game its thing, and everything's, you know, still mechanically based around that. When you get into a campaign, turns out you kind of wish some things moved a little bit faster to be more engaging than survival mode, whereas in survival mode you want everything to take a long time and be slow because you want lots of time to think and kind of respond and plan your attack. So, uh, I don't know if that's going to change as we get further into the campaign and it gets more hectic. But at least for now, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to make a liberal use of jump cuts in order to make sure that this is as entertaining as possible. I want to be respectful of your time, but also let you see all the cool story. Never charge headlong into a confrontation. It isn't safe. Safe for who? The bandits? I'm not a helpless little girl, Edwin. We can't stand round waiting for our livelihoods to be stolen from us, Elizabeth. If the Order won't do something about it. I will. Your fighting days are behind you, Gregory. Think of our son. There's no sense in dying for shovels and pickaxes. Great. More bloody order nights. I'll clean up your mess for you, shall I? Les, fetch me my spear. Excuse me, our mess? Who do you think you're talking to? What is your quarrel with the order? Since you order folk ain't been keeping the bandits in check, they ruined our farm, tore down our walls, and stole our supplies. You want to be useful, get our goods back. The Order doesn't run errands for peasants. It slays nightmares and punishes criminals. The Order serves the needs of the people, Aurelia. Sir, we'll return your goods and help you repair your village. Okay, awesome. So, let's go ahead and head over to the west and see what we can find. Looks like there are some stolen resources we need to grab, and we kind of get a sense that they're over in this direction. Two hero units should be able to handle kind of a lot, honestly, um, if these were nightmares. Fighting against other humans, they got different health pools, and they're a little bit tougher. So this could be a little bit challenging, but I think with the two guys, we'll end up being fine. So Aurelia over here, our squire, a little bit of a hothead, if you haven't noticed. She's got a special ability here called Light's Embrace. Imbues up to four allies with a regenerative aura. Pretty helpful if you have at least a few frontliners, and you want to make sure that they have plenty of health. Hey, look, 
Iron Talon Bandits. Let's kill them. I wonder if we're gonna end up seeing Aurelia added in as another playable character in survival mode like Merrick. Maybe at some point, I don't know. Of golden hair, Edwin. That looks like all of it. We should return to the village center. Ward, Find our stolen goods, did you? How about you put them to good use? Show us your word means something and rebuild our farm. Why do these Norfolk peasants show us such disrespect? The Order is here to help. That may be so, but the Order have to atone for our mistakes. In their eyes, as mine. Crotus. We'll need a good source of lumber if we're to keep up with repairs. Well, that should be no problem at all. Yeah, Edwin's gotten just a little disillusioned, shall we say, uh, from the events of the prologue, and understandably so. I mean, as we kind of found, we're not necessarily the good guys here. The Order serves a particular role, but it's rife with corruption and um, overzealotry and stuff, and Edwin had to do some stuff he wasn't very happy about. Please, Knight, my husband, he took off to fight back against the Talon himself. He hasn't come back. Please. You need to help him. We'll find him. Hopefully he's still in one piece. First they ask us to run errands, and now they wander off to get themselves killed. This is an opportunity to restore some faith in the Order. Let's not squander it. Faith doesn't win battles. I mean, not with that attitude, it most certainly does not. Hello! Looks like these guys are under attack. Uh, we can probably get in here and try to save a few of these units, uh, hopefully. Cool! That worked exactly as intended. Now I've got a whole bunch of extra units I can work with. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, can we get in here and crush this? Probably. As long as they don't get into their tower, we should be able to. Thank you. I suppose we could work together from here. Help me avenge my son, seeing as it's the Order's fault he's gone. And this guy really holds a grudge. Can't say I really imagine why. Repairs won't do no good if those bastards can come back any time they like. You know, I know you want me to repair the gate and all, but before we do any of that, let's go off this direction because there's an optional quest to free the militiamen. And we already know from the previous video that there is a cage full of guys over here. Forward. And for the sake of it, I'd like to just go ahead and complete all the optional quests if possible. There we go. Got these guys. No problem. See, we're breezing through this no problem at all. You didn't miss too much from the previous video. I just would like to have continuity if possible. All oh, right, and we also need to be building up a fresh gate over this direction. Let's go ahead and build one up like so. Okay, and there we go. Gates repaired, towers built. That should be just about everything here. Now I think we just have to defend for a little bit. Yep. Gregory! Thank the gods you're safe! The Talon are back. Please, knights. Help us defend our village. Time for you worthless order knights to show us what you're capable of for once. You call us worthless, and yet we just saved you. You'd be dead without us. Dead. Can you bring my boy back from the grave, girl? No? Then how about you put up your fists and fight for our town instead? You want an action, Aurelia. Now's your moment. Ready your weapon. No problem at all, just kill them a little bit as they come. We've already got 10, so there'll be one more wave in just a second. Enough time for pretty much all of my units to regenerate their health, and we're ready for round two. Here we go. Well, now that you're safe and sound, how about a little gratitude? Should we be thanking you for letting the bandits overrun the north? Or mayhap for neglecting the crystal so long that now we're constantly under threat from nightmares? Well, those bandits aren't going to be doing much of anything anymore, seeing as they're all worm food now. Taking a life is no trivial matter, Aurelia. Still, the Iron Talon must be stationed somewhere. Let's leave these people be and see if we can track them down. There we go. No problem at all. All right, now you've technically seen everything from Mission 1. And you can see I didn't cut out too much in the previous episode, but now I preempted anyone who might complain. That's all that matters on the internet. Okay, Mission 2, Talon's Grasp. Here's the new content. Let's get started. Ready yourself, Aurelio. We've arrived at the keep. Come on out. We promise we won't hurt you. Oh, piss off, you twats. Thank you, knights. I and Talon have turned the ruins near here into some sort of training camp. 
We'll lend you a hand so long as you drive them from our lands. If what they say is true, we'll need to train new recruits. Let's set up a base and construct a lumberyard, dwellings, and food huts. Oh, that should be no problem at all. I'm practically a veteran here. All right, here we go. Dwellings. Let's go ahead and place down a couple of those. Let's get myself a lumber yard up over this direction, and we cannot, unfortunately, afford a food hut as of yet. We'll get some gold, and in the meantime, let's go ahead and do some exploration. Now, something that's a little bit weird, my heroes appear to have retained all of their experience from the uh, last mission. Hmm, I am pretty sure that that does not normally happen. And they're going to lose all this later, which would be kind of weird. Huh, that might be a bit of a bug. I don't know. That's a complaint that I have ambush seen in the uh, campaign a little bit before. Hey, look, free goodies. We're about to get ambushed, though. Yes, yes, spoilers, but you already know we're about to find out. It would suck to lose the experience in between missions, though. Maybe you're supposed to play the entire campaign in one sit-down? Oh, uh, that would totally suck. I hope that's not the case. There have been a few other complaints about the um, latest patch and how things uh, changed up. Not just for the campaign, though. You know, some people have critiqued it and said that it's a little bit on the slow side. I understand their complaints, but at the same time, I'm such a sucker for a good dark fantasy story that I can't be upset about it. Uh, however, apparently in survival mode, there are a few other things that got changed up, including, uh, let's say, spawn locations for things like stone and metal and stuff, and it's thrown quite a few people off. So, for better or worse, that's a thing you have to think about now. Hopefully that gets fixed at some point in the near future. I think the devs have said that that's feedback they've heard, and they're going to be taking that into account very soon. Our base is set up. Next, let's build a training hall so we recruit some soldiers. Agreed. Our problem is a lack of stone, however. We have some spare stone. Take it for your training hall. Don't let it go to waste. Thank you. You've done us a good deed today. Yeah, done us a good deed indeed. I mean, they not only gave us a bunch of rocks, but they also gave us an entire keep. I'd say that's a pretty good trade. All right, let's go ahead and build up one of those training halls. We know we're going to need to train up quite a few soldiers in order to take this all down. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, when I was playing this before, these guys were back down to, like, level one, and this was a lot harder. Once this is constructed, we'll be able to start recruiting soldiers. But with a consistent source of stone, we'd be able to train archers as well. We used to acquire our stone from a quarry a little south of town. When the Talons came, they pushed us out and claimed it for themselves. Then we'll take it back, so we can start training our own archers. You know, I used to think it was a little bit silly that we required stone in order to train archers in the first place. Then I kind of thought, wait a minute, arrowheads? I guess we don't exactly use metal for the archers, so maybe that's where the stone comes into play. Let's get a small company of soldiers together and head for the Iron Talon camps. One of our scouts saw an outpost not far from here. An outpost, you say? All right, looks like there is, in fact, a quarry and another one of those storehouses or keeps or something over there. Good opportunity to go ahead and start training up a whole bunch of foot soldiers and let these guys lead the charge. It would be nice to have a little bit of extra DPS plus some extra bullet sponges because uh, in this particular mission, the AI is going to be sending some uh, waves after us, quite a few soldiers periodically, and if we don't have a few troops sitting around ready to help us, well, then we're going to be in for a really, really rough time. Get a few units up in over here, no problem at all. Take care of the defenders, and I'm going to be claiming this quarry for myself. Thank you very much. 13 stone does look pretty attractive. Don't mind if I do. Actually, it's going to be less than that, I just realized, because that was a storehouse, so that was boosting them in some way. No problem. No, that's that's fine. I'm not I'm not bitter about it at all. Uh, we need to wait for a little bit more gold, and we can go ahead and claim this place for myself. Aurelia, we need to take down that training hall. Yep, this training hall is where at least some of the enemies are spawning from. Not all of them, though. There's going to be a fair bit more. Um, but let's go ahead and start by taking out some of these towers, if possible. Try to burn these guys down nice and quick. Go ahead and get a flame sword so we can chop this down a heck of a lot faster. And then Edwin, you get up over here. And we're dealing with some of these archers that did just indeed spawn. And I've already lost a unit. Dang it. All right. Apparently, I'm an amateur. I don't even deserve to be watched on YouTube. What am I doing? I lost a single archer. Dang it. Whatever. It's fine. Not a big deal. Honestly, this is like a lot of RTS campaigns where you're not going to have access to most of your good units, at least until later. You'll only have access to the very basic level grunts, and you'll be winning these missions by training a lot of them and using them as cannon fodder. Oh, wow! Look what I found! What are these? Older and trinkets. Quite valuable. 
But why are they out here? They're beautiful. Surely they won't miss one or two. Absolutely not. We'll bring them back to the keep and distribute them amongst the villagers as recompense. Come on, you lot. Put your back into it. More rubble. This won't take us long. Take you long to do what, you might be asking? Answer, they are currently busting open a back door towards my base, and they are going to be causing some problems at some point. Hey, fun fact, whenever you have those little cutscenes, by the way, it gets rid of whatever hotkeys you had uh, with these army groups and stuff already assigned, and you have to redo it again. Yeah, I know. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and uh, devs, if you guys happen to be uh, watching or anything, that's something that really, really should get fixed. It doesn't, it doesn't really make much sense at all. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is... Uh, Another path. Now we can flank their encampment. Well, except I kind of came down the wrong way, so that was a weird trigger that was totally unnecessary, but that's fine. What I'm trying to do right now is get down over here and try to make claim for this other quarry. Not that this quarry is going to produce an absolute ton for me, but I mean, it's going to be safer from the regular raids, so it's worth getting in here and trying to take it just for some extra this source of stone. The stony outcrop the villagers spoke of. Aye. Let's build our quarry here and set villagers to work immediately. Perfect. Let's take advantage of this stone. Case in point, we just lost this quarry over here because, uh, of course, we did. Um, right, let's go ahead and start training up some additional units. These guys are going to start making a beeline for the keep. Not a whole lot I can do about that until the rest of my reinforcements get in here. We and this is going to be a constant hazard for pretty much the rest of the campaign, but certainly for this mission. Uh, we're going to be under attack quite frequently and uh, dealing with constant waves of enemies. So it can turn a little bit into a game of tug of war, um, which some people will find a little annoying, but for me, this is like classic RTS experience, right? Where the AI is actively harassing you a lot. Now this game does reward exploration, so um, I'm gonna go over here and explore this path off to the western side of the map. Um, there's almost always a reason to explore in games like this. Why create unnecessary paths in a map, right? If there's not going to be some sort of goodie at the end of it. Basically what I'm saying is my gamer senses are tingling. And it turns out there's a good reason for it. Check this out. A whole bunch of units. All right, what's oh, up, guys? Sound. The way is clear. Now to burn that keep to the ground. Although the timing of that was admittedly a little bit awful, but, you know, that's that's Okay. Um, cool. Now we've got some pikemen. I don't think we can get back to our base to defend this in time, so we're gonna go ahead and just try to train up some extra archers. We do have a tower in place, which can do some damage. Is it gonna be enough in order to save this wall? Probably not, to be completely honest with you, but, uh, I can't get my main army down there fast enough, so we're probably just gonna have to train up some regular, uh, regular footmen and let them do that over here. Hey, look! More stuff! Let's go ahead and explore over here real quick and see what we can grab for ourselves. Now, this is inconsistent because I've had some times where I played this and that little um, symbol did not show up anywhere. So, I don't know if maybe that's a inconsistent little bug. Seems that way, but kind of weird, right? Okay, we were able to clear some of that stuff out, so let's go ahead and start moving our army forward a little bit. So, the objective now, three training halls. One, two, three. Take those three down and we'll be fine. Actually, no, we only have to take down two of them now that I think about it. We destroyed one training hall out of four. We need to destroy two more, and it doesn't really matter where they come from. Seems a little bit like a mistake, maybe. Like, maybe the developers intended you to destroy three in total over here, and the trigger has not properly reset. These ruins. They're a lozen. But why would the Iron Talon set up camp here, specifically? Hmm, yes, Lozen, yes, yes. Uh, those people that we kind of, um, killed, uh, all of them? Yeah, those, those folks. Yeah, like I said, Order, um, not exactly the good guys. Humans in general, apparently, not exactly the good guys. This seems like it'd be a common trend now in dark fantasy, uh, in general. And honestly, I'm kind of all about it. I, I like the idea that humans are complex creatures, and it's not always as simple as, like, humans versus, I don't know, goblins or whatever else, right? I, I like the diversity of that. I like the darker aspects. It makes me, I don't know, feel things inside or something, probably. Anyway, here's one of these training camps. We'll go ahead and get in here and destroy this real quick, ideally before it has a chance of training anymore. I'm holding this area down here, no problem whatsoever. Um, we could rush forward and try to take over this big stone deposit, but we'd be under attack pretty constantly. Not that that's been a problem so far, but meh, I don't think we need to worry about it. I think if we just hold that position 
Find one more of these training camps and we're good. Weird thing. Hang on. This one didn't trigger. That didn't give me any progress. It says one out of three, but it said that earlier. Oh. All right. So the first time I played this mission, I actually attacked from this direction, destroyed these two, and it actually did end the mission. So the trigger for the campaign is actually broken where this doesn't reset and this one doesn't count. Well, that's just kind of weird and broken, but okay. This is more than just a training camp. They're practically building an army. We'll put a stop to that before they get the chance. Indeed. And maybe find some of those and treasures along the way. I'm starting to think that her obsession with treasure might be slightly unhealthy. But, um, uh, it's okay. She's young, you know. They can afford to be vain like that. Well, these guys have a lot of towers and stuff. Okay, what's this? A loyal guard. Um, are those the units that the Queen of Nothing can summon? One of the characters for the Rebellion faction that we've already met before in the survival mode of the game? That would be interesting if it turns out that the Queen of Nothing is in some way involved behind all of this. That'd be very interesting indeed, wouldn't it? Hmm, yes. We're about to approach this other training hall. Pretty sure if we take this one down, we're not going to see any more attacks over this direction. So we can go ahead and start moving these guys forward in preparation to reinforce, if I need it, which I don't think I do. Whoa, okay, they have sent quite a few reinforcements over here. Now, I observed this the first time I played this as well. Like, a stupid number of enemies suddenly just, like, appeared out of freaking nowhere. Yeah, it looks like that's happening again. Interesting. Okay. There's a trigger somewhere in the game's design where when you destroy this training hall, it just spawns a freaking ton of enemies who go crazy on you. No problem, though. Break down the gate. Now I've got a bunch of reinforcements, and we are ready to continue our assault. Uh, another tower over here to deal with, and one more of these training halls. And that should end up being just about all of it, I think. That should slow their efforts. Nicely done, Aurelia. Now let's head back. Uh, Edwin? Who are they? Older and soldiers. Well met. You missed the day's action, however. No matter. Seems you have things well at hand. That's quite a whole night. The king will be most pleased. I and Talon have been busy. We were just about to divide it up amongst the villagers. <laughs> no need, sir. We can take it from here. Of course. And will there be any left for the people once you've claimed the king's share? And who are you to inject yourself into Alderaan Affairs, knight? Maybe you should be helping your besieged brother instead of making baseless insinuations. Besieged brother? Explain. The fat knight of yours? He really pissed someone off, and now the Talon's sending every last member they've got his way. Oh no. Merrick. Come on, Aurelia. We must hurry before he gets himself killed. I like how I hear Fat Knight who makes people angry, and I immediately know it's Merrick. Uh, that's the mark of character right there. <laughs> anyway, mission success. All right, so that wasn't too bad. You just have to, you know, keep training units. In this way, this mission starts to feel a little bit more like the regular survival mode, just against humans. This would then move us on to mission three, coercion. But we will come back to that in the next video. Hopefully this ended up being a reasonable pace for you guys. Sorry to have to recap some content from the first mission, but I want to make sure that everyone understands everything that's going on and you're not missing any of the experience. So we'll pick up from here, we'll see how far we can get along in this campaign until we get to the end of Act 2, and then hopefully by then I'll have a baby and we can call it a break from there. Be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.